Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number 9 of integration series. Now in today's lecture, I'm going to take a previous KVPY question which was asked in the year 2014. Now the question is, let's say n will be a positive integer, then we have to calculate the value of the integration that is integration from 0 to n cos of 2 pi multiplied by fractional part of x into gif of x. Let's say the value of the integration is i here. Now I know one thing that is, I cannot integrate this function unless I know this function is continuous from 0 to n. Now I know that fractional part of x and gif of x are not continuous at some values of x, let's say integers. Okay, so that means we have to break the limit from 0 to something so that the function is continuous and only then I can integrate the function. So let's say we are writing the integration as 0 to n cos of 2 pi as it is, gif of x as it is. Now instead of fractional part of x, let's write this as x minus gif of x here. And why I'm writing fractional part of x is gif of x because it will be easy for us to break because this is a single function. Inside we have gif of x and gif of x so it will be easy for us to break. Now I'm going to break this where gif of x is discontinuous. I, now I know that gif of x is discontinuous where inside material is where the value of x is integer. So let's break this. Now I only the only thing I know here is n is a positive integer. So n can be 1, 2, 3, anything. So let's say n is equal to some value. Take it. Integer, positive integer. So first integration will be 0 to 1. When x is from 0 to 1, gif of x will give me a value that is 0. And inside we have cos of 0 here. d of x. Now the second integration will be 1 to 2. Now at 2 I have to stop here because at 2 it will be discontinuous. So I'm breaking the limits in such a way that inside function will become continuous. Now here I'll get this as cos of 2 pi. Now value of x is from 1 to 2. The value of gif will be 1. So 2 pi into 1 and inside we have x minus 1 here. Next integral will be 2 to 3. We'll get cos of 2 pi multiplied by when x is varying from 2 to 3. The value of gif will be 2. So 2 into 2 pi will be equal to 4 pi. And inside we have x minus here 2. Now, so on, the last integral will be integration from n minus 1 to n, since n is a positive integer. Inside, we'll get this as cos of 2 pi multiplied by when x is varying from n minus 1 to n, the gif of x will be equal to n minus 1. And inside, we have x minus n minus 1 here, d of x. Now, I have to integrate this. So, the first term is, I think, 1 because cos of 0 will give you 1 and difference of limit is 1 here. Now the next terms, let's focus on the next term, let's simplify. So let's simplify this term, what is inside here, that is cos of I think 2 pi x minus 2 pi, I can write. Now again further we can simplify here, and since cos is an even function, I can write this as cos of 2 pi minus 2 pi x, because cos of minus theta is cos of theta. Now let's remove this 2 pi, okay, because it will be easy for us to integrate. So that means we are we have to check the t ratio will not change here and we have to check which quadrant we are landing in. So 2 pi minus x. So if you travel 2 pi and minus x here, you are landing in fourth quadrant. That means you will not get a negative sign. So we'll get the integration from 1 to 2 and we'll get this as cos of 2 pi x only d of x. Now this will be easy for us to integrate. Next term will be, as you can see here, cos of 4 pi x, let's simplify this, 4 pi x minus 8 pi. Since again it's a even function, I can write this as cos of 8 pi minus 4 pi x. Now again if you check, again we are landing in fourth quadrant, so this will be positive, okay, and I can write this as integration from 2 to 3 and the trigonometric ratio will not change. So we'll get this as cos of 8, oh, sorry, 4 pi x here, d of x, and so on till the last term. So directly I can generalize this and I can write this as from n minus 1 to n. I can write this as cos of, if you check here, we'll get this as 2 pi multiplied by n minus 1 into x. We'll get this. Now let's integrate this. So if you integrate, we'll get this as 1 plus integration of cos is sine 2 pi x divided by 2 pi lower limit is 1, upper limit is 2, plus we'll get this as sine of 4 pi x, lower limit is 2, upper limit is 3, and I forgot one more thing, I have to divide by 4 pi here. 
plus so on till the last term. Now, if you observe one more thing here, the first term will be equal to 1 plus rest of the terms. See, we here we are having sine of 2 pi into x. Now, you know that sine of integral multiple of pi or 2 pi or odd pi or even multiple of pi will be equal to 0. So, this term will be 0 and this term will give you 0 because the moment you put upper limit and lower limit, you will get sine 12 pi and sine 8 pi. That is integral multiple of sine. That is 0. And rest of the term, when you put upper limit and lower limit, automatically you will get sine integral multiple of pi. That is 0. So, we'll immediately we will get this as 1 plus 0 plus 0 till the nth term will be 0 and total is 1. So, I think 1 is our final answer and that will be all.